Welcome, beautiful divine family. Welcome to the Utopia New Earth Community Light Chip. This is our Galactic Galactic Spy podcast. And we're just going to uh, just bring through transmissions. Um, let's just say uh, inner world. So inner, inner worlds, inner universes. Um, connecting to... Um, outer worlds, we have lots of uh, beautiful councils coming in, galactic councils and uh, Mother Earth, Mother uh, Earth, Gaia's kingdoms that are coming through um, right now, and uh, just con connecting, connecting into our heart chakras, elementals, uh, beautiful elemental beings uh, coming into into the heart chakra and connecting. Uh, through our vortexes and our morphogenetic fields right now uh, to create a beautiful space, a uh, beautiful space, beautiful light space. And yes, we're just going to just going to flow and just allow whatever comes through uh, just to flow through the heart. Uh, transmissions. So we share through experiences and stories, um, connecting to uh, star seeds, beautiful star seeds, star rays. So I'm just going to move through, move through the the vortexes and collectives of beautiful star seeds, star rays that are activating beautiful geometrics and patterns, um, crystalline Christ consciousness, light grids around the planet, uh, the universes, the multiverses, and and beyond. Okay, so just, just flowing. We're just going to flow and flow into the space. So everyone that's listening to live transmission, uh, we're sending so much love and blessings. Yes, blessings and prosperity. Uh, prosperity flowing through the heart. <laughs> and that's coming from all of our all of our guides, our galactic guides, uh, the kingdoms of Mother Earth, of Gaia, of the crystalline diamond energy matrixes. Uh, outer worlds. We have uh, beautiful extraterrestrial energies coming through. Uh, extraterrestrial light beings, uh, outer galaxy systems coming, uh, coming through right now, just to, just to be able to connect, and to connect in through transmissions, geometrics, and systems right now. <clears throat> Um, as you know, listening to our podcast, uh, we try I translate so I'm translating uh, translating uh, geometrics and uh, systems patterns, blueprints, templates, um, Translating different uh, dialects, dialects of frequencies that are coming through. Uh, translating uh, the universal systems of the Akash. Uh, translating the seven worlds of God. Uh, so you'll see me uh, translating also uh, different galactic uh, councils, stargate councils. Uh, yes, Mother Earth, galaxies, stars. <laughs> Stars, galaxies, universes, multiverses. Um, yes, star seeds can do this. And to be able to translate, um, telepathically translate, I'm actually very lucky uh, that I can um, I can actually translate what they're saying. Uh, since they uh, activated me, when I say they, I'm actually talking about my Oversoul. Uh, Oversoul activated uh, me to come fully online very quickly, and I'm able to actually translate um, telepathically. Um, translate telepathically uh, their communication and uh, what you call language of light, uh, the language of the starseed soul. So I can translate, actually translate them. 
uh, telepathically uh, very fast and to translate uh, their communication. Okay, so we're going to activate a Stargate system. Now we're all going to activate a multiple uh, timeline jump today and start activating all systems and Stargate systems and Stargate coordinates in order for us to be able to activate a multiple timeline jump. And we're all going to uh, jump galactics now. Uh, those of you that are listening and tuning into the live and here on the chat, you guys can uh, connect around the planet uh, where you're from around the planet. Uh, connecting into a hot space and uh, connecting into uh, the universal sound systems of light and to be able to anchor that frequency. So we're going to anchor and to anchor our frequency. We're going to talk about that today too. There's a lot coming through. Um, I have a beautiful workshop. I just finished a two day workshop. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it really is about um, the evolution of uh, star seeds. Uh, what is our inner manual? Uh, what are our highest contracts here? Our soul uh, soul contracts, star seed soul contracts, um, just kind of flowing into that space, fully anchoring. Why are we here? Evolution. We are here for the evolution of this universe. It's a young universe, and I always say that this is a very young uni universe and a very young uh, multiverse. Okay. We actually know that uh, most star seeds are from other systems, multiverse systems, universe systems. Um, Yes, uh, galaxies, of course, from uh, different galaxy systems within this universe, but there's ones that are not from this universe, parallel universes. Um, yes, parallel systems, parallel Earth systems, uh, and beyond that too as well. And we'll go into that too because we went, we definitely went into that into the workshop yesterday. And we're here for evolution and the evolution of humanity. We're here to assist with the vibrational frequencies of the planet, uh, raising the vibrational frequencies of the planet. Uh, what you would say, translators, and we are translators. We're translators of what you will call the return. And there's so many different uh, templates that are running in the collectives. So when we say collectives, we're talking about creation and intelligence here. We're talking about the creation intelligence, the source creation intelligence, which is the free will of Mother Earth. Mother Earth is the one that gave us this free will. Um, coming into her, her system, her holographic reality, her holographic hologram experience. Um, she's the one that gave us uh, free will of expression. Free will of expression is free will of creation and intelligence. Okay? Uh, meaning that we're able to create and to create through what you call light. Uh, creating through light and sound. Uh, so you can say, yes, free universe or free will universe, of course. Here uh, on her her system, her light ship, you're here on her remarkable system. So uh, just kind of translating a little bit from her that she loves um, all and everything that she has created here and loves us very dear dearly. And she really does. Um, that we work in harmony and we work and harmonize, work in harmony with her, uh, that we harmonize uh, with her and to create, we create the holographic experience and the holographic holograms and realities here. So hopefully um, we'll expand on this. Uh, evolution, so star seeds and star rays, okay? Um, yes, the cosmic and cosmic dancing, the cosmic dancing, uh, ascension, so we'll go into um, the Ascension Collectives and the Ascension Templates within this universe, okay? So the universe is ascending, um, and it's the planet that's also uh, ascending to as well. Okay, 
Gisun Tino Shaga Kasanti. Nesilia Kananda de Foko Shanakina Katam. As we activate the Stargate system, uh, we're going to open up uh, a new system for multiple time on jumping to be able to access with inside of us. This really is um, just for us to be able to uh, to be able to assist, to guide. Uh, so like I always say, um, in our space, take what, what resonates with you or what is a frequency, uh, frequency alignment to your heart through sound and light. Um, if you feel as if they, uh, you don't resonate, then, then it's okay. And that's good. So if you actually know what a frequency alignment is and what resonates, that's perfect. I just want you to know that. And that actually means you've removed most of your mind control systems uh, from your uh, what you call your human experience being uh, star seeds and star rays uh, tuning in to our podcast. We're going to activate a system and activate stargate systems as we're able to connect. We're going to connect in and connect into our inner universes and start to activate our star seed blueprints. Um, I want to bring this innovation through. So as we activate coordinates and activate our systems through our Stargate systems and uh, the Merkaba field systems, bioenergetic field systems and light fields, as we're activating these systems, we're going to activate the template, which is the inner manual of our star seed blueprints. Um, yes, we're able to activate the system and yes, we know the inner manual and we all do know the inner manual. We're going to be activating these systems and activating all of these light systems. Activating all systems and activating our Stargate coordinates in order for us to be able to access the Starseed. Starseed DNA templates and activating all of our template systems in Starseed DNA that is our unique energetic signature. We want to activate our highest and our highest contract here, uh, our soul contracts, um, the evolution of what we are, uh, what we are, um, let's say anchoring, okay, uh, anchoring into the physical here, geometrics and systems and patterns, uh, different words that are coming through. As we're able to activate our star seed, uh, starboard DNA blueprint, and to activate our DNA systems, our inner manual systems, uh, what are our high co highest contracts, and to activate our highest contracts, our highest soul agreement uh, for this experience. Uh, we want to come fully online, right? So you can you can activate that. Uh, you can also speak out loud, be able to start to command and to command your super system, uh, commanding your super super quantum computer system and your super Merkaba field system, your light ship, your galactic ship systems, and start to command and to command your super system uh, to activate and to bring fully online the highest versions of me and the highest of the highest versions of me and to be able to activate these systems now. Uh, we want to bring through the blueprint, the intelligence, uh, creator intelligence and the universal source intelligence. Also the highest intelligence into this space uh, to be able to remember, to remember, um, to remember your soul agreements here. Uh, the evolution and what is evolution and that would be the evolution of humanity uh, assisting with raising the vibrational frequencies and community so it is um, community 
uh, states and countries where you're located. Uh, also the planet, uh, universes, galaxies, outer galaxy systems. So really expand yourself as you are expanding. Uh, expanding now to remember uh, the locations and the coordinates and the star coordinates that you are aligned to right now. Where are you located? Okay. Uh, really pay attention to where you're located around the planet as star rays. So I have some new names, um, new names coming through for us. New frequency words. Okay. Star seed rays are going to be um, the uh, celestial divine sacred unions. So star seed. Uh, rays, star seed, twin rays. So we have been uh, shifting celestial rays. So those are going to be the divine sacred unions, right? Uh, rainbow star seeds. New frequencies. Uh, star seed blue rays uh, I came across uh, from the universe aligning me. Uh, to this frequency and to this uh, template that I decided just to activate, of course. Uh, crystal star seeds. Uh, star children. Uh, source, Christ is source children, Christ is source children and the Christ is Sophia children, uh, the golden children that are coming into the planet. Uh, they hold the templates and the blueprints of God consciousness and their plates and um, the sort, we call them the crisis source children. Uh, their plate systems are fully uh, restored when they do incarnate here, meaning that they have all of their memories uh, in their cellular memories. So they actually do know their full systems and their full plates. And they do communicate as either, um, they do communicate as God and they do communicate as source. So they'll either use those frequencies and, and those frequency words that they say that they are God or they are source. And it's the same thing. So God consciousness and it's a Christ of God consciousness systems, which is the seven worlds and the seven worlds of God. Seven, uh, seven universes and the seven worlds of God, which is the higher harmonic systems. And they have these plates fully intact. They can actually remember everything. Um, all of their plate systems, what you call cellular memory, and it's really just the Akashic, Akashic systems and Akashic records and their spaces of experience. They know exactly what they're here for. They know how everything uh, everything works. They know the inner manual. Uh, these ones are actually connecting to us now to be able to assist us are the evolution. They are very evolved. They are assisting us of what you would call um, stretching or expanding the consciousness, elevating our conscious consciousness, um, elevating the higher intelligence of source and the universal source or mega systems with inside of us to be able to reach the supreme consciousness, the Christ supreme consciousness, uh, full embodiment into the space to remember our systems and to remember our templates. About um, evolution just for a minute because it's actually pretty funny. All right, remembering the inner manual as we're able to access the supreme consciousness, they're the ones that are actually assisting us. A very small group that have decided to come in here uh, to be able to assist us and to enjoy their experience, um, even if in, in, even if they're incarnating. And even if they're incarnating into a lower vibrational, and I don't, I don't want to say lower vibrational, okay? But let's just say, um, we'll, okay, that's fine. Um, unconscious, we'll use matrices, a uh, 3D, 3D matrix and a 2D matrix, okay? Or a 1D, uh, 1D matrix, 2D matrix, and 3D matrix reality, which is that's going to be ancestral lines, okay? So ancestral, uh, ancestral lines, uh, guardians, uh, family, uh, community, Countries, uh, states, 
okay? Uh, where exactly that they decide uh, the creation portals and also the creation portals of the parents, the guardians that they decided to um, to be with, actually, uh, to to incarnate with uh, through their systems and through their ancestral lines and their bloodlines, uh, also their intelligence and wisdom and knowledge. Uh, do it to assist them. Okay, so I would say lower, you can say lower vibrational, uh, distorted. There's all different types of words. Uh, distorted, distorted realities, uh, distorted matrices, dark matrices. Okay. So I would say uh, dark matrices. Um, and I'm not going to say uh, choosing that experience, but let's just say it really has to do with the creation portals of the guardians. They actually are assisting them. So to be honest with you, they really, they don't care. Um, they don't care how distorted it is. And they also um, incarnate into uh, generations, different generations of, of uh, star children. Uh, angelic hybrid humans. Now, which is all all of human uh, all humans on this planet. Uh, hybrid angelic humans. <laughs> Uh, assisting with the ever the evolution so when we say evolution uh we are we're talking about raising the vibrational frequencies of the ancestral lineages and bloodlines uh community so community countries uh states wherever they're located around the planet uh universes galaxies um outer systems multiverse systems and beyond okay so and that would be um all of us coming into into these systems right now there is a blueprint, uh, there is an inner manual of when they decide, so they can decide uh, to be fully online and fully online um, coming through the creation portals of their guardians, which is the parents. Um, there is, and there is, um, as they are raising the vibrational frequencies and assisting Mother Earth Gaia, they're assisting this universe because, like we said, this universe has to evolve, and it, and and it does. It it will have to evolve at some point. Ascend. Uh, so evolution of systems. There's also a uh, multiverse systems. Uh, new creation of universes. Okay. Uh, so they can choose, um, and you can say that they are online or as an as online as what they of what they uh, want to be. Okay. So programming, like I said, one D matrix, two two D matrix, and three D matrix. Okay. So yes, they are programmed. The higher self is programmed. You have to understand the programming of those systems. Those collective grid systems is the observation. They're observing, okay? Uh, observing and observing these systems and to assist, okay? So what you would say, reality collapsing, grid collapses, uh, wrapping up systems and wrapping up contracts and moving through systems very, very fast as fast as possible in order for us to be able to assist. And it's it's what you call cosmic engineering. We call it cosmic engineering. So there is a certain point, um, and, and that is where the super system comes online. That really is what you call the bioenergetic field systems, the Merkaba systems. Um, it's the oversoul systems, and it doesn't matter what words we use. So it's the highest version of us, which is us, that turns everything on. And 
and turned everything on very fast, the inner manual systems, um, to bring us fully online very fast, okay? Uh, at And it really is. It's divine timing and universal timing uh, for us to be able to transition and to transition to what you call your star seed or your galactic being contract, okay? And that would be the next contracts. And you don't have to have contracts anymore, but those are the words that we use. <coughs> Sorry. My third chakra is opening to be able to translate, right? Okay. Um, activating these systems. So there's a few. Uh, angelic human experience, right? Uh, new, uh, new, new shift. So let's say what you call Taman shifts, earth shifts, um, and universal shifts. Uh, cre uh, creating higher realities. So galactic soul. Uh, galactic experience and coming fully, fully online, extremely fast uh, to access the supreme consciousness, which would be the Christ, the supreme consciousness, or the Omega Source uh, systems intelligence of the Creator intelligence, uh, which is what you call the Oversoul or the Avatar uh, soul systems, or let's just say the Star Seed uh, soul systems, fully coming online into remembering, uh, remembering uh, where we are, right. Okay, um, like I always tell you guys, uh, since the moment I started to be able to come fully online, I was able to communicate um, uh, to what you call the highest version of me. So that's your oversoul and can hear my oversoul very loudly, telepathically communicating to me and telling me that we are we are connected through star coordinates. Okay, so wherever you are located, it's connected to star systems and star coordinates and then also uh, stargate systems. I uh, too as well. So I would I have I would wake up and draw them actually. Uh draw systems. I realize um some of the systems that I actually would draw are in a higher system and a higher parallel earth system. There's another one that's in another uh dimensional system uh too as well. So I would uh draw stargates as soon as I got up um and fully fully up and fully online. Um and speaking, uh translating. Uh, telepathically, translating uh, multiple councils and Stargate councils coming in to assist me, and also the Oversoul. So the Oversoul will just say, um, just pay attention to the coordinate systems of where you are right now. Uh, community. Uh, community and state. Uh, so you want to uh, to be able to remember that you are connected through a star, a star system, and a stargate system, yes, and that is connected to your bioenergetic field, which is what you call your stargate system, your galactic ship, your light ship, your vehicle of light. Okay, so these are different uh, different words. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to use the different words, and this is your super system. So we're going to leave it at that. Yes, because you guys are switching realities. Okay. Uh, when I talk to you guys, I'm talking to my Blue Ray family. Okay, so yes. Um, I'm talking uh, to my family right now as we're all trying to translate through the same uh, the same body, the same mouth. <laughs> okay, so... Um, as we are able uh, to come fully online, uh, just remember, and I will tell you this, um, where you are and where you are located, at this point, there probably is a, there's a pod of us and what you would call a pod, uh, a pod or a cluster um, located in these areas, okay? We're here to assist with connecting and assisting with raising the vibrational frequencies of intelligence of the species on this planet, multiverse, and universe, okay? Uh, parallel Earth systems, like I said, you really have to remember to stretch um, and to really stretch out just for today uh, to remember wh what, why, why are we here, okay? There's a lot of us um, for the beginning of the awakening is what you would say um, 
asking a lot of questions and releasing a lot for the emotional body. Uh, releasing a lot of distortions from the emotional body because you have to. That is what you call your angelic human soul uh, system. And I will say that because it's we're, you have to understand that we're here. We're here on a planet. Um, you're, we're here on the planet with seedings from an experiment, which are angelic human hybrid races. Okay. So when I say angelic human systems, I'm actually talking about what you guys would call uh, the soul experience. All right, so shifting from that, um, and it's same, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to use different words here. Um, galactic soul, star seed soul, whatever works here in this space. So I'm going to say angelic human and the soul experience. Okay, <clears throat> uh, shifting to the galactic soul experience. All right, uh, um, what is that? It, it is uh, truly what you would say, a uh, galactic soul experience, okay? There's in two, there's in two, there's in two, and then the focus on Tina Ki, there's in two, there's in two, and then the awakening, removing the emotional body systems. All your oversoul is doing is deprogramming you very fast. You are deprogramming, okay? And the emotional systems, anything and everything, scarcity, survival, lack energies that are coming up inside of your body. So scarcity, survival, um, what, what you would call, I guess, poverty consciousness, right? Um, and, and just kind of, um, you're deprogramming it. Uh, sexual misery programming, uh, what they call predator systems. Um, and these are just different lists and different lists of frequencies that come through. So I'm going to say distortions, um, old systems, old programming, whatever it was that the oversoul, which is you, the highest version of you, um, decided to observe, okay? And to sit here and to observe, to deprogram, all right? As it's deprogramming, it is assisting with raising the vibrational frequencies of community, country, and state uh, in that location and a lot more. We call it cosmic engineering. Okay, and it is cosmic engineering. Um, accessing uh, those systems and blueprint systems. Okay, uh, so yes, um, yes, we do go into uh, what you call lower vibrational existence, realities, and living. Uh, yes, we would. So just uh, remember that. Yes, we will. Okay, it holds a purpose. Those are the ones that were actually assisting. It's the communities, it's the countries, the states. Okay. Uh, materialism. No materialism. So we don't we don't hold materialism. So just remember that. Uh, we're evolved. So star seeds are very evolved. I will tell you that. Uh, star seeds are extremely evolved. Our hearts are pure and our hearts are open. Most of the time, our vibrational frequency is so high uh, that we pull everything and anything up of anyone that comes in for a soul exchange with us. Okay, so that's all species and Mother Earth. Okay, so you have to understand when you step outside, you are assisting with that, um, with trans transmutation transmuting and to assisting the planet and mother earth um, anything and everything that has the breath and the breath of source um, as we're able to remember this, we would remember uh, where we are, where we are traveling to, okay, uh, where we are called uh, to, and we will start to remember this. Now, releasing the emotional body is us deprogramming and deprogramming the system for us to be able to access and to activate uh, coordinates, and it is. It's activating coordinates to translocate. We would start translocating and then transmigration. Uh, translocating to higher systems and higher earth systems, higher experiences. Uh, once we feel as if uh, that we're ready and ready to, so you can activate these systems now and start to command your super system to activate these systems now. Those of you that are ready to be able to uh, transcend and to 
transcend and just start teleporting and teleporting to a higher system, higher reality. You are able to do this. Like I said, Mother Earth to give us free will here on this experience. Uh, locations, uh, cosmic en engineering and programming. Most of us will go to locations and to locations that of what you would say have poverty consciousness. Um, let's just say old systems and old matrices uh, running in different systems, uh, 1D, 1D, 2D, and 3D matrices, uh, still in 4D matrix system. And uh, what we do is we we sit here and we assist. We can be in these community systems for years, 20 years, uh, for our whole life, or we can we can start to travel around and be able to move around a different location um, as we are uh, multiple timeline jumping. And we're able to uh, assist and to rebuild. Uh, rebuild the systems and to is with rebuilding the community um, activating uh, what you would call uh, light systems or rainbow light or crystalline light or star rays light and this is where we're actually conscious about it uh, we're able uh, to uh, send out through transmissions through the cathedral systems and the cathedral crystal systems uh, through our body which we already do have all of us have it on this planet uh, yes we do so, so anyways, anyways, I'm the husband. Talking uh, through my wife's body. Okay, so uh, crystal cathedral systems, uh, which is sound, uh, sound and light. And we already transmit that. We transmit the systems and sound and light frequencies. It sounds like music in an orchestra. And, and so does uh, Mother Earth and Gaia. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, systems, communities, uh, what we do is we are able to assist through the crystal cathedral systems of our physical body. So it is the physical body in the super system, which is a crystal body system. Uh, through the crystal systems and the cathedral systems, uh, through the, the music and the harmonics, um, as we are transmitting, we're able to raise the vibrational frequency where we are assisting the intelligence here. We're assisting humanity. Okay. Uh, born humanitarians. All right. Um, we're assisting humanity. We're assisting Mother Earth, Gaia. We're assisting the multiverse and the universe. Uh, evolution of the species here. Uh, evolution. Okay. Assisting with the vibrational frequency through the crystal cathedral systems, which is the crystal body systems. We all do this. Okay. As you activate the full system, the super system, and the crystal system, so clearing density off of your body. Uh, rapidly fast and yes the system will clear you very fast and clear your crystals and your crystal systems your crystal headdresses yes we all do have this and we do uh, life anything that has the breath of source on this planet has a crystal system you're just not able to see it yet right so how about we see it? Right? Uh, start to activate your plasma crystalline eyes and your crystal plasma eyes. And just command your system and your super system to activate your plasma eyes and your crystal plasma eyes in order for you to be able to see. You want to see with your eyes open. Right? And we want to be able to hear the system and the crystal systems and the song of spheres again within Mother Earth and within our physical body. So this is the physical body that we're talking about here, uh, that transmit the crystal system and the crystal cathedrals through sound and light. And we're able to hear the system and the harmonics. We are assisting the intelligence and the intelligence of this planet. And when we're in community and where we are, where we are, we're activating systems, geometrics and patterns, uh, frequency systems, downloads, right? Um, what you would call expansion, 
we're enjoying experience. And for a lot of us, um, possibly as we're releasing and deprogramming, uh, raising the vibrational frequency, and you could say that, but our vibration is already high. We're actually just clearing density off of the physical body and off of the crystal system. And that's the crystal body system. So the morphogenetic field. And it's very simple. So as we decide that we're going to uh, take our highest contracts and start to travel, uh, yes, we do land and we, all, we will land in distorted systems, distorted realities, distorted parallel universes, uh, distorted parallel earth systems. Uh, yes, we actually will go into, into these systems uh, very fast to be able to assist him. Cosmic engineering, yes, what is that? Um, architect, uh, reality building uh, through creation systems and super systems, which is our super system and our crystal system that we create through sound and light. We're able to assist them and to assist them with building new structures, new homes. A lot of us actually do this. Uh, building new systems, new community, uh, expanding their heart grid and activating the system to the super intelligence in order for them to be able to access higher intelligent systems and assisting the community, uh, state and country. And it really all depends where you're at. Universes and multiverses. Not all of us do this. But we do actually see that there is shifting and changing. We do see that the crystal cathedral systems and the harmonic systems through the gate systems of our heart are able to assist the community. Uh, unity consciousness. You can see that there is harmonizing. And that there is harmony and union through a crystalline vibrational system, a frequency that is harmonizing, that we're able to access and to activate these systems and to bring these systems fully online in order for them to unify and to access their higher chakras, uh, to be able to access a supreme intelligence, uh, shifting, changing old systems, old matrix, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D systems, and to be able to actually assist them uh, in that location, okay? Um, so you could say programmers if you want to say uh, creator programmers and that's all we have to do so what we call the uh, utopia new earth uh, conscious projects uh, you, we are already doing it most stars we, you've been doing it without knowing it you just don't realize that you have been doing it the whole time wherever you are wherever you are located that you are already doing it you don't have to be fully online, and you don't have to. We send in systems, codes, and telepathic two-way communication systems, which is true. Um, diamond communication systems in geomet. We have uh, different types of technology and crystal cathedral systems and light systems and rainbow light systems and spectrums and blue rays and all kinds of really cool stuff that we actually transmit through our physical body that we're not able, um, not able to fully see yet. Okay. Um, as we access those systems, I would have to say uh, we are uh, very telepathic and telepathic beings. So what you call introverted. Yes, we are introverted. We actually know how to shield our system. Okay. Uh, sensitive, sensitive, very sensitive. Most of, most of the time we are extremely sensitive and sensitive, hopefully, uh, sensitive uh, to energy because we are telepathic beings and all species here on the planet are. Okay. Um, we are just uh, vibrating and vibrating very fast uh, with a, a higher harmonic and sound uh, geometric system. So, we are um, aware of our tele are aware. Uh, we have awareness uh, that we are sensitive. So we are introverted. We do not want to be around people that vibrate in a field that is a lower vibrational frequency. Uh, the oversoul system and the oversoul will switch in and out and usually will switch in and out as it is observing uh, collective networks. So it really is collective uh, networks in the location community of where we are. 
um, if we are there for years. So that's the oversoul actually switching in and out. The oversoul will switch in and out um, in order for it, and I'm going to say the bean, uh, for the intelligence of the oversoul to be able to observe the networks and the systems and exam the the old systems so the 3d systems uh 2d systems 1d systems the actual programming uh what are the systems what are the networks uh that are running in the system so the oversoul actually switches in and out of us and will switch in and out um and to be able to come in to observe the systems and then start uh, what you call assisting or um work in that area this into a kiss into a kiss and he into a kiss and he key can under the focus on a kiss and uh, this is very important to remember. Um, so I'm going to say uh, telepathy is advanced. Um, yes, we have full full blown telepathy. We usually can hear and hear everything, and we can. It's actually really it's really beautiful. Um, that we're able we're able to hear um, anything and everything here on the planet that is connected to the intelligence of Source. So the breath of Source, right? Um, we're able to be able to hear uh, universes, galaxies, star systems. Uh, we can telepathically communicate uh, to stars and galaxies, uh, universes within inside of the physical body. We can create universes through the crystals and the crystal cathedrals within our physical body, which is the crystal system. It's your physical body that's crystalled. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, creating universes, uh, meaning um, each each crystal and crystals, the crystalline systems, the crystal body. So each crystal, when you actually start to see your crystal systems, you actually can create through those crystals. You can create universes, universes and multiverses uh, through that intelligence. And yes, you actually can once you're able to start to really activate the system in the inner manual. You can create your experience. So manifestation, right? Uh, what we call manifestation is materialization, and it is uh, materialization uh, very fast. So we materialize. We're able to materialize um, what we want to experience here. Uh, we can communicate uh, to multiple systems, species, galactic councils, uh, this universe, multiverse, out of galaxy systems, uh, telepathic and telepathic communication. And you can say it's multi multi-dimensional experience, right? Um, multi-dimensional meaning uh, multi-dimensional experience um, and that we are in different uh, you can call it spaces or spaces of existence and time. And, and that will be for some as you become uh, fully um, uh, fully quantum again. Uh, what you would what you would translate as uh, the galactic quantum superhuman, or just uh, returning to your star seed original blueprint, uh, remembering the systems in the inner manual systems, right? Okay, so most of the time, uh, once we actually start to become fully online, it really all it really all depends on on your unique energetic signature, okay. Um, not all of us are the same, and we're not, okay? So just, we really aren't. We're, we're not supposed to be. Um, all of us that are around the planet and connected to different star coordinates, uh, to our coordinate systems and different gate systems. So I'm going to say uh, universal gate systems, multiverse gate, gate systems, galaxy systems, wherever it is that we're located. It's It really is um, star aligned. So it is star aligned. Uh, we will never be in a location uh, most of the time. Uh, never truly be in a location unless we're in a major city. Uh, with a bunch of us, which is like a cluster system. Uh, we're in different uh, locations we are around the planet. So yes, um, like we said, in the beginning process of coming online as you're deprogramming your old systems, you're deprogramming the matrices that you, that you, that you were incarnated uh, into. So you are, you're deprogramming it, right? Um, and there's still, there's still some beautiful systems and beautiful uh, templates there. So I would say your angelic human experience. 
emotional body systems uh, mental body systems so you will be deprogramming this uh, for a long time uh, where we feel is if we're alone and we're not we're not alone you're not alone none of us are alone I just want you guys to know that um, so we don't even um, we can experience it through the body, and it's probably because we're connected to a collective uh, community. So Ascension community, I would have to say Ascension collectives or spiritual awakening collectives are the ones that are experiencing this. We were talking about Twin Flame, uh, twin flame co uh, collectives too, and the Twin Flame uh, collective group system that hold, it does hold a higher purpose, and it does. Um, so I can see... I can see the highest uh, highest version of it, and it's definitely not um, it's definitely not fake. Not, none of this is fake. It would never it would never be fake uh, when you're experiencing uh, the galactic um, full experience all the time. And teleportation, teleportation, um, some really cool shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, that we're able to access this, and and yes, it is real. So I would just let you know, twin flames definitely are real, and they hold a purpose. It's evolution. And it's the evolution of a planet. It's the evolution of a species. It's the, it's the evolution of this universe. And that's the reason why um, those templates and that collective grid um, is very important uh, for humanity. Uh, turning, tuning into uh, those frequencies and those uh, those energies. We were talking about that yesterday. And that holds holds a, a huge a huge template for evolution. Okay, uh, releasing the systems, uh, awakening, right? So the feeling of alone, or I'm alone, or uh, victimization energy, and I don't use those words anymore. But let's just say control systems and uh, programming, right? Um, and that's going to be most likely because you're connecting uh, through telepathy, and you're connecting to a system um, that you are most likely assisting and holding up. You're holding a system in a light grid, uh, probably of millions or millions of souls at the same time here, and different spaces of existence and different experiences. So parallel universes, parallel Earth systems, higher Earth systems that we that we are. Um, what you would call holding space is not really holding space. Um, I would have to say it's a geometric system and a geometric pattern that it's actually communication. Um, when we say communication, we're actually talking about uh, communication through diamond light. So it's it's diamond light. It's a, like a diamond light uh, a music system. Okay, so diamond light communication, uh, crystal cathedral systems, uh, music and sound. So we're definitely not alone. Uh, once you actually start to activate your crystal plasma eyes, so just letting you guys know, um, we can activate our uh, third eye systems, right? Um, let's just say, I call them third eye systems. Higher chakras, uh, crystal skull, godhead centers, um, seven chakras. Okay, well, um, let's uh, stretch today and, and recognize um, something. Uh, recognize something with inside of us. Uh, see if we can actually see that the systems, the crystal systems, and uh, what we call the higher chakras. Uh, so evolution, future. Are we the future? Yes, we are. We are the future. We're the future coming in. We're the future. Uh, 4,000 years into the future, uh, millions and trillions of years into the future, because everything is simultaneously running at once. Uh, so what you call the past is not really the past. So yes, we are the future systems. Star sees are. Um, higher, system, higher systems, uh, crystal systems, yes. So let's, we'll focus on the third eye for right now. Um, accessing the systems and bringing the higher chakra systems fully online, uh, activating what you would call your crystalline crystal plasma eyes in order for you to be able to see you, your family, okay? Uh, your family or your multidimensional use from different time space continuums. 
uh, your royal families uh, from the Andromeda Galaxy and from different galaxy systems here. And outer galaxy systems here, planetary systems, right? Uh, family from different universes. Um, actually knowing if you know that you're from a different system in a different universe, then you definitely would not have a family from the Andromeda galaxy system here, right? Or galaxies within this universe. So just remember that. So they would probably just be assisting you and guiding you uh, on this uh, journey and experience. So they would still be uh, your guides or your councils uh, that you communicate to. As you're able to activate these systems and to be able to see through your crystal crystal eyes, we're talking about our real eyes. Um, as we're able to see through our real eyes, right? So our eyes, okay? They would call that removing... Uh, I. I believe removing the veils, right? Or lifting the veils. Okay. There's no veils. I just want you guys to know that. Um, I'm just going to say in our universe and our experience, there's no veils here at all. So no veils. There is, there is density that comes off of us and it is, it's black density. And just want you guys to know that it's density, black density that comes off of our crystal system. And that's us really the crystal body. And it, it really does look like uh, density and rock formation. Rock uh, particles actually coming off of the physical body. And some of it can look like um, uh, what you, it looks similar to tar um, on our cable systems. And the cable systems is the, uh, the vehicle of light, which is the super system, uh, our stargate system. So Merkaba bodies. And uh, yes, there would be TARS on the cables. And the cable systems is what's actually connected. Uh, connected to the super system, right? Connected to the heart chakra. Uh, different cable systems that are connected to our crystal uh, crystal systems, crystal chakra systems, and crystal, crystal cathedral systems that are connected to our super system. So yes, it does, um, it does come fully online and it can have many tetrahedrons. Yes. Uh, many, many tetrahedrons, not two anymore. Okay. Um, as it reconstructs and, and, and starts to activate and to fully come online, right? Uh, you will see, you'll start to see the density come in optical body. You actually will start to be able to um, access now, what they call it through the crystalline DMT systems, uh, through the physical body. As you're able to access this uh, through the physical body, through the spinal cord, they call it DMT here on this planet. Uh, crystalline DMT It's not DMT that you take or put into your body. That it's a natural organic system and a crystalline organic system uh, through the chakra systems of the skull and spinal cord. So it's natural, right? So extraterrestrial evidence is something that i keep seeing coming up uh, on something we're, we're definitely clearing in the collectives where it's what extraterrestrial evidence of conspiracy th theories there's no conspiracy theories at all uh, these were hybrid races and very beautiful hybrid extraterrestrial races that did walk our planet at one point so it's no evidence but anyways um, and, and it's not, so it's okay. Uh, we're actually here for the evolution of the angelic human species in order for them to be able to remove their systems and hologram systems now. There was a reason why it was preserved. Okay, so uh, yes, we are almost there as we are assisting the whole planet and raising the vibrational frequency of this whole planet and assisting them. Yes, we're almost there. That eventually they will be able to access and to be able to access more. So the hologram systems, uh, yes, that are used for, in a sense, for preserving, um, preserving an intelligent system that cannot, uh, okay? So yes, we're almost there. All right, so when we're able to access this and to bring this uh, fully, fully online, we're able to actually see everything 
that is around us. We're able to see the full system, the crystal body system, and the super system. Okay. That is very important. I will keep going into that. Um, the density, it looks like rock formations that actually will be flying off of your body as you are querying your system and repairing. The super system can repair you itself, is what you guys call the oversoul. Okay. So the super system does actually come online. So the ones that are experiencing, and we all do experience this, the ones that are going really fast and we all do experience it is uh, what is actually happening to us. It's your system that's coming fully aligned to clear your crystals. Eventually it will open you up. It's a crystal system, your morphogenetic field. It's, it's clearing the actual system in order for you to come fully online as um As your star seed self, right? Or your galactic self. Accessing that system and that inner manual system. You will be able to see uh, your multidimensional higher selves. Uh, you will be able to start teleporting, translocating, transmigration. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, you do actually uh, you do actually choose your experiences here. Um, and also the Oversoul uh, will choose the experience here. So like I said, not all of us have the same contracts here. Those of us that are the galactic beings, and I'm going to say uh, Christed Crystal Star Seeds, uh, yes. Um, at this point, uh, we do have a very uh, busy, a very busy life, and we do. So we do not um, uh, vibrate or materialize usually uh, into our space at all. That most of the time we are in council, uh, Stargate council meetings. Uh, we are accessing and assisting uh, different systems, uh, universes, galaxies, outer galaxy systems. Uh, we are assisting community, uh, country and state. All right. So um, if you want to say, um, you could say that, that we are busy, but we would take this seriously. And we, we do at a certain point. And it is very real when we can actually access the councils. We can actually see them uh, fully coming in and communicating to us. And why are we here assisting this planet? We really are for the evolution of this universe and their systems here that they keep running and a reset. And it is a reset uh, system uh, for experiments within this universe. So the Stargate councils and the galactic councils of this universe are young. We're here to assist them with evolving for their evolution uh, at this point. Uh, we assist in systems. We're actually processed on the whole planet before we actually get in here. And we are uh, processed on everything. That we're ran uh, through everything, every single system within this universe and all projects and organizations that they do have running. And we actually do remember this uh, completely. Um, also, their systems and duality systems and their resets and replays that they keep on creating over and over again through the intelligence of their free will. And those are the galactic councils here on this planet. And within this universe and multiverse and galaxy systems. So we do actually take that seriously uh, to sit with these councils. You call it council meetings if you want to. Uh, we look through different systems, different blueprints, uh, different geometric systems, and what they keep running through a reset. Um, yes, um, because they are and they are, um, they are still evolving 
a species themselves. And they are. Gisen tu, gisen tu, kena dera fok gisen tira kiri, shoko gisen tira kiri, nanda. Gisen tu, shoko gisen tiri. Gisu kena dera fok nak kiri, nanda tak kati. Gisen tu, gisen tira kiri, nak kati. Gisen tu, kena kena kata. So control systems, uh, different types of control systems, like galactic control systems that they're still running, and like we said, it's just a reset system that we're actually looking at right now. Um, so these are these are what we call R contracts uh, within our system. And it is, uh, you can say, it's a sole agreement uh, to be able to come in. Some of them are here to recorrect the timeline, and that's actually the angelic races. Those are the angelic human races that are here to recorrect their systems and recorrect their timelines. Um, those are the ones that are running in resets. And they are, for right now. Uh, there's different systems and galactics, and, and galactic councils are still here uh, in the system. Um, that are continuously uh, recreating and recreating the uh, same old systems and old systems over and over again. When we say systems, we're actually talking about, what, I guess, what you would call uh, blueprints or templates. But they keep recreating everything um, over and over again. So they have to run in a reset um, because they do have to evolve. So a lot of us are here just assisting them with evolution, uh, possibly um, uh, different ways, um, assisting them with possibly different ways to shift them out of this reset. So I would say harmonizing, uh, assisting them with uh, inner harmony. Inner harmony, yes. Uh, duality systems, uh, battle systems, uh, light and dark, okay, um, uninvolved, uninvolved uh, universe and galactics, galactic beings. So we're here for the evolution to assist them with harmony, harmonizing and unifying uh, once again. To see if they're able uh, to to expand, um, are they able uh, to harmonize, and to see if they can uh, move through the reset and to be able to evolve as species within this universe and galaxy systems, um, and also uh, the galactics, uh, different galactic councils, um, galactic councils uh, that are translating and channeling uh, to this planet. And the same reset systems and same same creation, creation systems over and over again. So when we talk about systems, we really are just looking at programming, um, different blueprint structures, templates that are old systems and creating something new to harmonize them. And that's what a lot of star seeds are here for. So not all of us have these sex and we don't. Um, some of us uh, love to be out and to and harmonize and to build um, uh, physical new earth communities projects. Uh, they love they love harmonizing and, and being with each other and flowing with each other and love being in community and um, and and those are their those are their contracts. Okay, so everyone has uh, different contracts. Uh, most of the time, those of you that do have these similar galactic contracts like us, um, you will be vibrating and teleporting to a higher system and a higher, higher what you call higher earth system, a uh, world reality and system in order for us to be able to get everything done that needs to be done um, super fast at a quantum speed. Very fast, okay? Uh, most of the time, uh, that that's what we will be doing. Uh, so our contracts are different, right? Um, and then also what you call a speakers. So we are uh, speakers and conscious leaders. Um, uh, yes, and I would, there's different words here. We become conscious leaders. Uh, most of the time we are, we're here to anchor in frequencies into the physical, um, to have fun and to have fun in community. But we are uh, what you call the new conscious leaders of the planet. 
it isn't focused into you know, that it focuses into you know. And I would say definitely uh, Christ it, uh, conscious leaders of the planet, and just because of the systems, the crystal systems, and the crystal cathedral systems, and all the really uh, cool shit we get to experience. Uh, most of us are here to anchor in frequencies and anchor in frequencies, accessing uh, ancient frequencies, ancient energies, um, accessing um, our star groups and our star seeds, star ray uh, groups. Uh, we're able uh, to access that are around the planet. Uh, ones that we will be conscious leaders with. And how do we do that? It's really simple. It's with the highest versions of them. So teleportation, bilocation, uh, that we, we just sit here and in this space and we're able to teleport to each other, uh, telepathically communicate to each other uh, too as well. Uh, we're able um, to lead if we want to, uh, just to be able to lead and to transmit and to anchor in higher frequencies um, through just one, yes, uh, one one body, right? So that would, would be me. Uh, we're able to, ex we are able to communicate and to telepathically communicate through different spaces of existence experience. Uh, whatever it is that we have to get uh, get done here on the planet, we do come together uh, through, you can say, the higher realm, but it's actually through teleportation, uh, translocation and transmigration, and we're able to connect to each other, and we're able uh, to, what you would say, uh, anchor in frequencies, we're able to be speakers, and to be able to uh, speak and through an intelligent frequency, and to transmit, uh, kind of like streaming our light together as one, and to be able to stream that system and that light system together, um, as we are able uh, to to be able to activate, uh, to activate, uh, to to share, uh, to guide, uh, to teach. So teaching. Um, you can say teaching, right? Um, those are those are definitely our our abilities and our beautiful uh, beautiful ability to have. so and we do we're able to connect to each other in the physical and we we have our physical connection uh, we're able to uh, connect to each other uh, in the physical and we're able to have physical experiences with each other and we harmonize each other um, and we're able to truly feel uh, that frequency through the heart and it's a crystalline uh, pure vibrational frequency it's absolutely amazing uh, that we know that we're home and we know we're home and we definitely know uh, that we are home we are home with our family and we can feel it uh, through the heart center um, there's no distortions there's never anything coming up that is a harmony frequency it's a crystalline frequency it's vibrational so it's energy and vibration we can feel it uh, right away that we know that we are home and we're truly home uh, with this person uh, or a family or a collective group and those would be other star seeds uh, other star seeds that we do come together uh, with and it's a pure frequency and a vibrational frequency. Um, it's actually very rare sometimes for us to, e to even materialize, uh, to materialize them. So we are the ones actually materializing um, our, our star seed, uh, divine unions. We materialize them to us to be able to assist us when we are working on multiple realities. Um, millions and trillions of realities, uh, blueprints, templates, matrices, all at the same time in order for us to be able um, to to be able to vibrate faster and faster, to be able to translocate to a higher system and a higher earth system. So it is um, working in harmony together. <laughs> This is a question to you, Nakata.
listen to a question to a question to look at that. But yes. Um and that is not our podcast for today. Um anything else that comes in, we will bring it through. Um too as well. So we had a beautiful workshop yesterday. It was absolutely amazing. Um very powerful transmissions. Um let's just say about uh, the starseed um, evolution experience of um, what exactly are we able uh, to access. And it really has to do with relationships, uh, starseed relationships, divine sacred. That was very powerful. Uh, so we are we're one. Um, there is a solar, definitely solar plasma waves coming in soon, and, and solar waves uh, coming coming through very soon. So make sure that you guys hydrate, uh, hydrate your body, drink pure clean water, a high version of foods. Listen to listen to listen to again and listen to you. Listen to question for them. Plasma systems, plasma upgrades, um, new plasma star, star plasma upgrades, new geometrics, new systems coming in. Everything new. Uh, we just shifted through the new moon. So the new moon is uh, amazing. Uh, just start to uh, program your reality. You start to command your system and your super system and start to uh, call forth, if you want to say, uh, start programming uh, through uh, vision. Uh, what is your vision of your um, higher timeline, what does the higher timeline look for you? What is your higher reality, higher vibrational reality, higher earth system? What do you want to experience? Um, do you want your star seed experience, your galactic being experience? Well, sit there and program it. Um, and to activate it, activate and to install it and start to program your system, program your realities as creators. Um, it's your super system, so you can walk around commanding it and commanding your system um, all day long. Okay, so just remember, command your system and sit there and to visualize, visualize through your creator intelligence and to stream that system and to activate and to install. All right. So you can call forth opportunities and you can you can, jam, you can journal or record. Uh, it's a lot easier when you're speaking and actually commanding and speaking through um, your mouth. So your higher chakras. Listen to, listen to, listen to. Uh, to be able to command your system, command your super system. So uh, create it. Uh, yes, you are. You're the oversoul. You're the advanced being. You're the creator self. So command your system. Uh, walk around and command it all day long and uh, start to visualize. Uh, visualize your heart. Uh, what does your higher reality look like? Now, nah, galactic realities look like. So yes, visualize it. Visualize it and program it. Uh, learn how to command your ship and to command your system and command your ship. Uh, solar experiences. Let me see. Uh, next month, uh, solar eclipse. So we are we're activating uh, millions and trillions of new templates. About to have a huge shift. Uh, humanity about to is about to experience a huge shift. Um, with in this universe, uh, a massive one. Uh, so just be ready for uh, the the solar eclipse. Uh, next one. All right. So we're sending love to all of you. Uh, thank you for connecting around the planet. I hope we're able to assist you guys in any which way of remembering so we're helping you guys re remember uh the inner manual of your star seed blueprints uh anything else that comes through we will definitely know uh we have uh telegram groups um, that are below on the description so you can go to the description and go um all the way to the bottom we have two telegram groups uh one is for a community uh that comes into our space um comes into our workshops or courses and uh coaching and everything else uh, mentoring so we'll just say mentoring um 
So one of them is for that community uh, space. And then we have our Galactic Utopia New Earth uh, community. And that's a larger, you can definitely come into that space and have fun. You get to connect uh, around the planet because like I said, we're in different coordinate, we are in coordinate systems. We're connected to star systems, galaxy systems, or, and yes, parallel universes, higher universe. Some of us are in parallel universes and different, uh, different universes, different systems and sitting here observing. So it's really nice to connect and to, and to be able to connect to your family uh, around the planet um, to be able to share. So that's what the Telegram groups are for. Um, we do have Facebook groups uh, that we we just stream live on at this point. Um, I do think uh, possibly, I guess Instagram, but we'll figure that out eventually later on. I'm looking at other, uh, other ways to be able to stream. Uh, so we send so much love uh, to all of you guys, uh, always. I hope you guys enjoyed our podcast. So whatever comes through, we'll, we will be on uh, once again. We're going to, we have to go and kind of break up different blueprints and systems uh, to be able to uh, trans, transmit more of our experiences uh, to assist all of you that are coming online. Uh, more, more and more of you that will be coming online. Uh, to be able uh, to assist you with accessing uh, your inner manual, uh, your galactic, uh, galactic print, galactic systems too. And those would be what you call your abilities. So your abilities. Uh, so yes, all the councils are sending uh, sending love to you. Um, all of all of us are harmonizing and. Um, Yes, communicating through the crystal cathedrals and the hearts uh, through sound, uh, sound, light, music. So we're sending so much love to you guys um, and just blessings. And I hope you guys have a beautiful uh, new moon, uh, uh, multiple timeline jump.